I'm one of the uh, co-founders of the Oregon Donor Swim. It's a 30-kilometer relay swim across Lake Muskoka, so from right here at Gravenhurst Wharf to Hannah Park and Port Carling. And it's a relay swim because it's meant to be a symbolic of not just the donor and the recipient are part of this ex experience, but it's their community, it's the family and friends that make up everything. So we want to connect the lake through a relay swim. This event started um, because my father, this is our eighth year, uh, my father needed a kidney in 2016 and so as a family who's active, we wanted to find a way to sort of get the, no the, the, the word out. And so we started the swim to try and find him a kidney originally and more broadly to sort of bring awareness to organ donation. It's a silent killer. At, at any one time there's over 1,600 people in Ontario alone waiting for kidneys, or excuse me, waiting for organs. And, um, and so we want to try and bring awareness to that issue. And, and really to try and find him a kidney. He unfortunately passed away from uh, brain cancer in January 2020. But, um, but, you know, we had people come forward as a result of this swim. They weren't a match, um, but it brought awareness to the issue that there is typically a five to seven year waiting time for people to find an organ. And, and oftentimes, in my father's case, they don't have that kind of time. So it's, we're, we're here uh, starting at Gravenhurst on Saturday, July 29th, around 6.30 in the morning and we'll start swimming and we'll get to Hannah Park somewhere between three and five o'clock in Port Carling. Uh, people can support by coming on the lake. We'd love to have people come and find us on the lake. Um, we can post where our route is through Instagram or through uh, Facebook, hashtag Oregon Donor Swim. We also raise money for Camp Kivita, which is a camp near Bracebridge. And it's for kids who have organ challenges themselves, so they're transplant recipients. And they go get to have a week at overnight camp and have the same experience any kid should have, but with the infrastructure there necessary for their, their health requirements. And then the biggest thing that people can do is offer their support to create presumed consent in Ontario. Nova Scotia's done it, and they've seen a wait list time reduced dramatically, and so we want to be able to do the same thing, which means when you go and renew your license, driver's license, presumed consent would have you opt out, as opposed to now people would opt in. And there's been a survey that shows that 90% of Canadians would opt in to donate their organs, but only 20% do, and it's largely because they forget to do it. Mm -hmm. So we think that that's a really important thing. So those are the three ways we'd love for people to support. Come find us on the lake, donate, and, and try and legislate for, for presumed consent in Ontario.